So now mm -hmm. let's understand the characteristics of lookup and mm -hmm. master detail. And then we'll combine, first we will combine patient and appointment, then we will mm -hmm. combine patient and cases. So the characteristics of lookup, very important four characteristics. One is while creating a record, I am creating a new patient lookup field is not mandatory. That means I can create a record without providing value in the lookup field. That is not mandatory. Okay. But in case of master detail, while creating record, master detail field is mandatory uh, so one question sumit uh -huh. um, so before you start creating a record uh, you should know which method you are going to use to combine the objects uh, not necessarily uh, yeah actually, or you can uh, use lookup to create a record and master detail to create a record no no we'll come on that point so that oh, okay. will uh, in like next five to ten minutes that will resolve all the queries so okay, okay. basically two objects can either be created via lookup or master detail. Okay. So one out of these, but how, I mean, for to analyze that, like whether to go with lookup or master detail, we should be clear with the characteristics, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. first characteristic, lookup is not mandatory, master detail is mandatory. Mm -hmm. Second characteristic, value of lookup can be changed once record is created. Value of lookup can be changed once record is created. Okay. Say I have created uh, created a record, and at the time of creation of record, I have provided value A in the lookup field. Now the record is created. Now I can go back and make it to B. I can change the value of lookup field once the record is created. But mm -hmm. in case of master detail, value cannot be changed once record is created. Mm -hmm. Third very important point, if I am deleting parent record, child record will not be deleted. Mm -hmm. If they are linked via lookup, it's a loose coupling. I am deleting a parent record, child record will not be deleted. Let's say I am deleting a patient and, mm -hmm. and in the patient and case, I have a lookup relationship. I have deleted a patient, but case will not be deleted. Case will stay. But okay. if I combine them using master detail, if I am deleting a parent record, child will automatically be deleted. Okay. <clears throat> so deleting a parent will delete child. Very important point. And fourth point and very important point again, OWD. can be set for child object if two objects are linked via lookup. So in that relationship, one will be parent, one will be child. So if they are linked via lookup, we can provide OWD for child object. Like child object will be open. Mm -hmm. I can set OWD as private, as public read only, as uh -huh, public uh -huh. read, right? But in case of master detail if two objects are linked via master detail you cannot set owd for child object so owd will be locked for child object and whatever is the owd for parent that will be the owd for child oh, okay okay so now let's say now coming on to say I have one object that is patient, 
then i have case and okay. appointment and i need to link patient with a appointment and patient with case yeah. so patient and appointment and in in addition to that just remember a very important point in case of master detail standard object cannot be child just remember this point say i am linking two objects let's say patient mm -hmm. and case mm -hmm. and patient is a parent and case is a child right yeah but i cannot link these two objects via master detail because in case of master detail standard object cannot be child but in our case in our scenario case is child object right right so i need to link patient and case via lookup i don't have any option no, okay can you repeat this point sure sure yeah I mean, look, uh, relationship is a bit tricky and i can understand so mm -hmm. In case of master detail, if I am mm -hmm. linking two objects via master detail, I need okay. to make sure that mm -hmm. the object on child side should not be a standard object. So it has to be a custom object. It has to custom. be a custom object. Oh, right. okay. Okay. Now, case is a standard object, right? Right, right. Yeah. So when I'm trying to connect patient and case, mm -hmm. and I have identified that patient is parent case is child so yeah. can i link them via master detail no we have no. to do it via lookup we yeah. have to do it via lookup but mm -hmm. when i'm trying to link patient and appointment i have both both options i can link them via lookup or i can link them via master detail that all depends upon my requirement and my judgment but in okay. case of patient and case i don't have any option right Right. So that is the point that I have seen people getting uh, struggling to understand why we cannot link patient and case via master detail. So just remember this line. Okay. And trust me, like I have seen people, uh, I mean, experienced people and struggling to understand the, the relationship concept. So mm -hmm. it's a bit tricky. So anywhere, if you feel any doubt, just let me know. But if we understand it point by point, it, it's really easy no need okay to, so just focus on these points and these characteristics so now mm -hmm. let me give you a scenario so which you have to tell me you will go with lookup or master detail so my scenario is when i am deleting a patient there is a requirement from client that if i delete patient i need all the appointments to be deleted automatically Mm -hmm. So you will go with lookup or master detail. Lookup. Oh wait, no, 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 wait. Deleting parent record. Oh, okay, it has to be deleted. Then it's uh, master detail. It's master detail, right? So these mm -hmm. characteristics we need to remember. Okay. If there is a requirement from client side, just uh, understand the requirement now. Uh, if there is a requirement from client side that when we create appointment. Uh -huh. there might be a scenario and while creating and uh, just tell me like appointment is child and right. patient is parent right so uh -huh. the relationship field will be on appointment or patient appointment appointment right so while creating appointment i have to tell the parent of that appointment right right like uh, this, uh, this appointment for patient Sumit or patient Amit Malhotra, that I have to tell. Right. right. So there is right. a requirement from client that when we create appointment, there might be a scenario that we need to change patients at later stage. That means value of a relationship field need to be changed at later stage. So you will right. If with... this uh, appointment for a particular patient is cancelled, the appointment can be given to some other patient. Right? right. So you will be in this scenario. You will provide them solution via lookup or master detail. Uh, 
uh, look up. Look up, right? Because yeah. value of a look up can be changed once the changed. report is created. Yeah. So that is how they will give you scenarios in interviews in certification, and you have to judge from your understanding, like you will go with lookup or master detail, right? Oh, okay, okay. So that is how we need to judge. So now let's quickly create master detail field between patient and appointment. So between patient and appointment, we will be going with master detail. And between patient and case, Mm -hmm. We will be going with lookup. So patient is already there, case is already there. So mm -hmm. case is a child object, right? Right. So I'll be creating a lookup field on case or patient. Sorry, uh, can you repeat the question? So yeah, so I have two objects. First, I'll right. be demonstrating lookup, then I'll demonstrate right. master detail. So mm -hmm. I need to create a lookup relationship between parent, uh, patient, and case. Case, yeah. So on which object I will be creating lookup relationship field? Case. Case, right. Yeah. So let's go to case. Mm -hmm. Click on case, fields, and relationship new so i need to create lookup so there is a option so this case is something you created yeah case is already there case is a standard already object. There, right case and right. lead are uh, standard objects no right 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 yeah yeah okay so i am creating a new field on case lookup relationship the type of field click next oh, okay so here i need to define the parent so the parent of case is patient detail right patient detail any issues till now no so click next So we are creating a relationship field now, right? Right. We are today. Uh, we are creating a relationship field on mm -hmm. child object, and in this scenario, child is case. So I am creating a lookup field on case, and I am giving name as patient detail. Click next. Click next, and finally click on save okay so relationship field is already created uh, is successfully created on case now let's verify all our points that we discussed uh -huh. so let's create a case and before that let me open patient detail and just remember the patient name and for that patient, I will be creating a case. So let's say I have a patient called Amit Malhotra. For, uh -huh. that, for this patient, I need to create a case. So search for case, cases, click new. Uh -huh. So search for patient detail. Here we have patient detail field. So I need to define while creating a case, I need to define who is the parent of this case. Th that means for which patient I am creating this case. So this is the field that we have just created. I need to search for the patient, search for Amit Malhotra in this so, field. Uh -huh. uh, we are, are we creating a record now? Or? Right. right, right. So we are creating a record now. Case record, patient. Oh, is case already, record. Yeah, okay. patient is already there. Say a patient is already there in the system, and we now we are now creating a child record for that patient. So why? Okay, so uh -huh. um, if we had not 
um created that relationship field we just did this mm -hmm. patient detail won't be here right won't be here right yeah okay okay so now this patient is already there in the system this patient mm -hmm. has visited the hospital many times the patient record is already there now i am creating a case record for this patient so mm -hmm. i have selected amit malhotra as the patient just right. select all the required fields and click on next okay save, uh, save. so a case is created for patient amit malhotra right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so now one by one let's verify all the points first okay. point is while creating a record lookup field is not mandatory so let's try to create a case without providing value in patient detail right right so let's try to create a patient uh, case without providing patient value let's hmm. keep it blank uh -huh. and click on save case is created successfully right okay. now second point value of a lookup can be changed once the record is created can i hmm. now link can i now link patient with this case i can right yeah yes so let's select amit malhotra now and mm -hmm. click on save. save so it worked without any issues right 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 yeah so let's go with the third point when i am mm -hmm. deleting a parent record child will not be deleted so let's delete this record amit malhotra mm -hmm. let's delete and this is the case that i have created, created. just remember yeah. the 1056 yeah let me delete the patient and will verify whether the case is deleted or not mm -hmm. let's mm -hmm. delete patient is deleted right mm -hmm. let's go to case case is there it is not deleted right it's still right there. so mm -hmm. that was the point that we have verified so we are right. verifying one by one all the characteristics mm -hmm. fourth characteristic is i can set owd for child object which object is child in our scenario case case right so let's go to setup and try to set owd for case object mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. yeah search for sharing sharing settings edit so just verify can i set owd for case i can right right there is option to select any of the value it is not hidden right right that means we have verified all the four characteristics successfully for lookup right, right? any issues in lookup anita no so can we jump to master detail yeah sure right sure okay so for master detail we would be linking patient and appointment as master detail so patient okay. detail is already there i'll be creating a new object that is appointment detail so hmm, as yeah. Per, yeah as per our uh, project let's create a new object that is appointment detail and as we are we have already seen these steps so i will not be repeating them as we are sure. already aware so yeah. let me quickly create a new object deployed, mm -hmm. deployed allow search, search. Yeah. and click on save mm -hmm. and let me quickly create tab for this object appointment detail object is created now i will create tab for yeah. this object let me quickly create tab for appointment detail
let me quickly create tab now we have patient detail and appointment detail and we have already verified and analyzed that appointment is child patient is parent right right so yeah. on which which object i'll be creating master detail field appointment appointment so let's go to appointment detail fields and relationship mm -hmm. new this time i'll be creating master detail right mm -hmm. yeah select master detail next who is the parent of appointment patient patient detail right yeah. okay. click next mm -hmm. next leave everything as it is no need mm -hmm. to change anything next and save save okay so master detail field is now created successfully on appointment appointment so, yeah let me quickly create a new patient record and then i'll be verifying all the characteristics of master detail so let me create a new patient let's give name as say summit membership id 1234 status is active say i am i am here from the referral some other hospital has referred me to this hospital let's click on save mm -hmm. so now uh, i'll try to create an appointment for this patient this patient okay so let's create an appointment mm -hmm. but before that let's verify point number one while creating master detail field is mandatory i'll try to create a child I'll try to create an appointment and we'll try to make it as blank. Let's okay. One, one quick question, Sumit. Mm -hmm. So uh, we only created the object appointment, right? Right. So all these fields? Yeah, this field we, we have just created, right? Master detail field. So uh, the appointment detail name automatically yeah. comes when you create yeah, an object. Right, right. Name yeah, yeah, field, okay. yeah, that will automatically come when we will right. create object. Mm -hmm. So let me do one thing. Let me try to create an appointment without providing value in the master detail field. Mm -hmm. Click on save. It is giving me error. That means right. while creating master detail field is mandatory. While creating a child record, I have to provide a value of parent if the two objects are linked via master detail. Okay. So let me select myself here mm -hmm. save now second point once the record is created we can not change the value of parent if the relationship is master detail so let's try to change the value of this field let's click on edit can i change patient oh no it's locked right right you we cannot change mm -hmm. right yeah so two points verified successfully any issues mm -hmm. no so third point deleting a parent will delete child so let me delete parent let me open this patient record and just remember the appointment name that is test okay so let me open parent and let me delete this patient delete appointment name was test right test. yeah so let me go to appointment detail no record is there right okay yeah it is deleted uh -huh. and the fourth point in case of master detail you cannot provide owd for, for child object child. Yeah. that means by default, I should, it not, take the I should not be able to provide the OWD for appointment detail, right? Right, right. So search for sharing. Let's quickly verify this point. Mm -hmm. So appointment. let me scroll down. We have appointment detail. 
in front of appointment detail it is controlled oh, by controlled the by the parent but so yeah. when we see that we know it is linked using mm -hmm. uh, master detail master detail right so let's uh. let let's edit this screen mm -hmm. and you you can verify appointment detail is not there it is hidden on the edit oh. screen Oh, okay, it won't there. even appear on the um, right. It edit won't screen. Even edit screen. Oh, on okay. The, on the detail screen, controlled by parent will be there. Okay, okay. If you can see here, appointment detail, controlled mm -hmm. by parent. Mm -hmm. So all the four points are verified successfully, right? Right. Any issues in lookup and master detail, and if no issues uh just summarize it in your own terms what all things you have understood so yeah yeah so so basically you know we are talking about combining uh two objects uh -huh. so this can be done using either a lookup or master detail okay yeah so in lookup when we are creating a record the mm -hmm. lookup field is not mandatory, but whereas in master detail, uh, uh, the field is mandatory. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, next is um, um, what was next? Um, uh, the value of the you know uh, lookup uh, field can be changed, uh -huh. but in master detail, uh, it cannot be changed. Okay. Uh -huh. And then okay. in lookup, when you uh, delete the uh, parent record. Uh huh. Um, the child uh, record uh, will not be deleted. Okay. But mm -hmm. whereas in master detail, whenever you delete the parent record, the child record will also be deleted. Okay. And the last point was um, in uh, lookup, uh, the child uh, or OWD can be set separately for the child. Okay, great. Uh, but mm -hmm. in master, um, uh, it uh, it is controlled by the parent. It will take whatever default value the parent ha the settings the parent has. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and right. one other thing is the relationship field will always be set up in the um, uh, child, child object. object. Right. Yeah, and um, where in uh, if you are co combining two objects using master detail, uh -huh. uh, the child uh, cannot be a standard object. Right. Right. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So these are points we need to remember. Very important points. Okay. Around these, like you will be getting some uh, some queries, some uh, like scenarios in your certification or in your interviews, whatever thing we are targeting. So very important concept. Okay. I have seen people struggling a lot in understanding when to go with master detail, when to go with lookup, what all are the characteristics so mm -hmm. say i have seen like i have uh, people getting some scenarios and they are not able to evaluate like whether to go with lookup or master detail so if mm -hmm. we are aware of these characteristics if we remember these that would be mm -hmm. really easy so just remember okay, these points uh -huh. yeah, yeah go ahead. this is all i need to you know remember to decide whether i have to go with lookup or master detail right right, right. yeah exactly okay yeah, so they okay. will give you some combination like they will give you uh, like in the requirement. Let me give you one more uh, more requirement, then we'll wrap up. So like mm -hmm. say, uh, let me frame another requirement. So they so let's say there is a requirement like uh, we need to combine account. Account is a standard object and patient. Mm -hmm. So in this case, account is standard, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means we only have so look option up. to look up. And yeah. let's say I need to combine patient and say any X, Y, Z object. And uh -huh. they have given us some uh, scenario that, okay, X, Y, Z is child, patient is parent, and mm -hmm. couple of characteristics around the requirement they have given us that, okay, uh, there might be a, possibility that when we are creating xyz sometime we will not provide value for patient so if this is the requirement you will go with lookup or master lookup look look up, right yeah. right because 
in the, in case of master detail that will not be possible every right. time i need to provide patient so right going by the verbiage of requirement we have to understand their requirement and from our characteristics we'll take mm -hmm. a call whether lookup is best fit or master de uh, detail is best fit 